ladies and gentlemen, as the magic of Christmas Eve approaches, the folks at Suburban Chevrolet 6005 Bel Air Road present a traumatic, a uh, dramatic reading by Mr. Charles T. Ekman of the poem, The Night Before Christmas by Clement Moore. But first, a letter from a listener who writes, Dear Mr. Ekman, is it true what they say about the people who do business on Bel Air Road? Well, I'm going to tell you about them, Wayne. Tomorrow is Christmas, and the hustle and bustle is over. Irv Tillman, Jesse Greenbaum of Suburban Chevrolet want to take this opportunity to extend to you their holiday greeting. Charlie Simpson and George Prevost join them in thanking their many friends and customers for their patronage during 1970. Out at 6005 Bel Air Road, the whole gang wants to say Merry Christmas. Warren Haslett, Fred Crest, Jack Boyd, Bob Melville, Gene Nicholson, Jimmy Freeman, Charlie Hatterman, Tony Amato, Don Dugan, Dave Harper, Bob Everett, Walt Hedges. Now I want to tell you about a Christmas present that Suburban Chevrolet is giving their customers. A free oil change, free brake inspection, and a free car wash, including wax. Absolutely free. No strings attached. This offer expires on December the 31st. So get on over to Suburban Chevrolet, 6005 Bel Air Road, right after Christmas. And don't forget, drive safely all year round, but especially during the holidays. And don't forget to see Suburban Chevrolet, 6005 Bel Air Road, before December the 31st for your free oil change, free brake inspection, and free car wash Christmas presents. <laughs> Telling it like it was on the night before Christmas. Twas the night before Christmas when all through the house not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Mama in her kerchief and I in my cap had just settled down for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters, and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave a luster of midday to objects below. When what to my wondering eyes should appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. With a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. More rapid than eagles, his coursers they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now, Dasher, now, Dancer, now, Prancer and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donner and Blitzen. Uh, uh Charlie. What would you give to have a couple of horses that could fly? All my money. Oh. To the top of the porch, to the top of the wall. Now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As dry leaves that before the wild hurricanes fly. When they meet with an obstacle, mount to the sky. So up to the housetop, the coursers they flew with a sleigh full of toys and St. Nicholas too. And then in a twinkling, I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney, St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes, how they twinkled. His dimples, how merry. His cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard on his chin was as white as the snow. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke, it encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a round little belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf. And I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. 
A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work and filled all the stockings, then turned with a jerk and laying his finger aside of his nose and giving a nod up the chimney he rose. And what did he say, Charlie, ere he drove out of sight? Happy Christmas to all and to all a good night. Charlie, you're... You're not really Santa Claus, are you? Ain't no way.